Jemima. It is so nice to be speaking with you today. Good morning, Maka. Oh, good morning. She is the author of an adorable book called The Love Book. Hello, Jemima. How are you doing today? I am doing just great today. How are you, Maka? Oh, I'm just great. I have been fluffing my feathers and getting all groomed today for this special time with you. Oh, now, boy. Yes. And I'm hoping in today's interview, we can inspire young ones out there to write their own book. What do you think? I think that is a great idea. I wrote my first book when I was six years old. Oh my, that is really young. This is really inspiring for little ones out there. Oh sure, anyone can write a book. I love your book, The Love Book. Can you tell me what inspired you to write this book? Well, I would love to. The Love Book came about because I felt that I had so much love in my heart. Do you have a lot of love in your heart, Macaw? Oh, yes, I do. And sometimes it's hard to describe how much you love somebody. So that's where the love book came from. When I wrote the love book, I was thinking, I have all of this love in my heart. How would I describe how much I love, for example, my children or my pets or my family or my friends? And from that, I was able to write the love book. And at the time, we couldn't figure out what we were going to name the love book. When I say me, I mean me and my family and my friends. I ask everybody for suggestions. And finally, because I kept saying, what should I name this love book? We decided uh, just to name it the love book. I love it. Now, who illustrated your book? Well, the illustrator of the book, her name is Nadezhda Gortiskaida. And she is from Siberia and she has three little boys. And she had a lot of great ideas for illustrating the book. And I will tell you that the illustrations in this book are really important, even more important than some other books that even I've written, because the story itself doesn't really have a very clear plot. So we had to tell the story through the pictures. Oh, that's great. So it sounds like the illustrations really help the readers understand the story. That's right. There are all kinds of situations in the love book. A lot of them are silly. And we thought, how can we make those situations all work together to be one cohesive story? And so that's how we came up with having it be all about animals on a farm. Oh, great. I love your book. I wanted to ask you, on the cover, what made you decide to use a little mouse? Well, when we were talking about how we were going to have it be about animals on a farm, we thought, well, what type of animal would be available or be, be seen or be able to hide, I guess is a better way of putting it, in all of these situations to observe what's going on. And we decided that a little mouse and the mouse's mama could kind of be in the corner of the frame in all of these situations, whether it's inside the house or outside the house or in the barn, you know, a mouse can go pretty much anywhere. Oh, you're right. And mice are so cute. Oh, they are so cute. It sounds like a lot goes into the illustrations. Do you talk to your illustrator? Do you call? or email each other. I am curious as to how the author and the illustrator work together. Well, because because Nadia doesn't live here, we do a lot of talking through messaging, not like real talking on the phone. And the first thing that we do when we do a story together is something called a storyboard. And that is where I give her the story and she actually draws out how it's going to look in pencil pretty much is how it works. And it's page by page so that we can see how the story is going to progress. And after we both agree with that, then she'll color it all in and make it into a book. Oh, that's wonderful. I always wanted to know that. And for our viewers out there, I think it will help them a lot. 
What do you think? Oh, I think so. I mean, it's one thing to have a great idea with your words, but with a picture book, you have to have the pictures make sense as it goes through the lines of the story. I agree. I know that you have written other children's books. Do you want to talk a little bit about them? Well, sure. Well, first off, I have something I wanted to show you. Okay, great. Do you know what this is? Hmm. I think it is an Easter basket. It is. It was my daughter's. And today there's no candy left in it. I think she ate it all. Oh, I think so. One of the books that I wrote was about the Easter bunny. I'll show you. Okay, great. Hello, Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny's vacation. Oh, this looks really good. Does the Easter Bunny take a vacation? The Easter Bunny does. Look, the Easter Bunny's out in the ocean on a float. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it looks like she's having such a great time. Yes. Well, I wrote that book because I started thinking, what if the Easter Bunny was kind of sad because the Easter Bunny I don't know about at your house, but at my house, we don't leave treats out for the Easter Bunny like Santa. And I think that sometimes the Easter Bunny might feel a little bit taken for granted. I think so too. I thought about that and I wrote a book about it and how it's important that when people do things, or the Easter Bunny, people or animals, I guess in this instance, for you, that you tell them thank you every now and then instead of just taking for granted that they're going to keep doing that. Oh, I agree. Your books sound and look so adorable. Did you use the same illustrator for the Easter book? I did. I did for that one. For this one, this book is called Delilah is a Tiger. <gasps> and it's about a little girl who thinks that she's a tiger. She has some characteristics of a tiger. And she says that she's fierce and she's strong and she's beautiful and she is and we all are aren't we oh i agree it sounds like such a positive book and i love the illustrations too and this one was illustrated by anastasia Bensel. so this one was illustrated by somebody different but she did a great job as well and what is your favorite picture from that book well i like a lot of the pictures but i think my favorite picture is is this one where it shows Delilah in her bedroom drawing a picture of the tiger because I think the bedroom is so cute. She has a little tent and she has her stream lights up and you can see the moon outside the window. Oh wow, such a beautiful book, Jemima. So that's my favorite illustration in that one. And the last book I wrote is called The Garden Party. And that's what this one looks like. Oh, this book is so beautiful. And I see a little gnome. I love gnomes. Oh, me too. <laughs> the book is about a little boy who learns that he can have so much fun in his own backyard with the little animals and bugs back there that he can entertain himself. So oh, that book is about how he, he stages a little party for himself with his little backyard friends. Oh, that's great. I love to play in the backyard myself. I do too. And look at all of the fun things back there, the flowers and the trees. And sometimes there are caterpillars and ants and worms and things like that. But my favorite part of the backyard is all of the birds. Oh. I love birds. Oh, me too. Do you have a favorite page in that book? In that book, I do. In that book, my favorite page is probably at the beginning of it when you can see the little boy oh, having God. a party with all of his little friends, including the gnome. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute book. Oh, I see that ice cream. Yum, 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 yum. Yes, ice cream is one of my favorite things too. Can you tell me what would kids like most about your books? Well, I think what kids would like most about the books for one thing, they're fun. I try to make them fun and enjoyable for children. There are a lot of little animals in my books. 
and I think that that's good. I like looking at all the animals. And one thing that is fun with the illustrations is both of the illustrators put little things in the illustrations that are fun to look for. So sometimes you can find, you know, little animals or things in the background that you weren't expecting. So maybe you see it on the second time you read it or the third, but that's fun to do too. Have a little scavenger hunt with the illustrations. Oh, that is so much fun. Not only is there a great story, but the illustrations get kids excited too. Oh, there's so much to do with your books. Oh, I love them. Now, where can viewers find out more about you and your books? Well, I have a website at www.jemimaneal.com. And I have a Twitter account, an Instagram account, and a Facebook account. Oh, great. Now, is that at Jemima Neal? Well, I have the webpage that is just for our books or my books rather. I say our books because I do them all with illustrators, so I don't do any of this by myself. Um, but I also put a lot of information on my social media accounts. Okay, great. Now before we go, what would you tell a little kiddo out there that wants to write their own book? Well, I would tell anyone who writes a book of their own to really try to use their imagination because all of these books that I wrote I just made up. I just thought of a situation and then made something up around it. So when you write a book or any story, what I like to do is think, what if, what if this happened? Or what if that happened? And then all of a sudden I have a whole story. So anyone can write a book. And I think for a child that that's something to, to keep in mind. Yes, you can write a book. And yes, you see things outside or inside or relationships with other people in your family or your friends. And if you think about that and then use your imagination and think, what if all of a sudden you have a wonderful story? Oh, this is so helpful. I think it is going to inspire little ones out there to write their own book. I hope so. Oh, very helpful, Jemima. Now I hear you have a special friend that would like to say goodbye with you. Is that right? Look who I have here. This is Basil. Oh, Basil, I am so excited to meet you. Oh, you are so pretty. Basil is an English budgie, so he's special. We named him Basil because that's a typically British name. Oh. Well, <laughs> I guess that's all he has to say. <laughs> is so exciting. I got to meet another bird. Thank you, Jemima. I had so much fun. Oh, I can hear her chatting. Now that, oh. now that I've gotten him out, they want to say more to you. Oh. Maybe that you, you two can become very good friends. Oh, yes. I would love that. Thank you, Jemima. I had such a wonderful time with you today. I hope to see you another time. Maybe we can talk about another book. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Macaw. Okay, bye.